Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video is the last Brawl Gadgets poll. As you can see, we've got the Gale, Lou, Pam and Leon gadgets. So I'll be advising you guys which gadgets to vote on. And then at the end of the video, which one I think is best and which one you should vote for. Of course, this is going to be on your opinion on which brawl you like the most. But of course, we want to see the best gadget uh, be released. Before we jump into today's video, make sure you're using a credit code in the shop. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into today's video. All right, guys. So going into the first gadget, which I believe is going to be really, really strong in the meta but uh obviously first up on the poll it's going to be gale so unfortunately i'll die straight away in the first engagement but i thought split uh would be the best map to show this gadget off on mainly because of the choke point so this gadget is going to be really really strong especially on maps that have a uh like a thin lane so i'm going to try and show it off here if the bots allow me to get up the lane uh they're just clapping me at the moment but yeah on uh I'm trying to think of other maps which it might be really good on it can actually also uh block this siege bot as well like literally nothing can pass this gadget whatsoever this bell is still clapping us we're gonna just kill up with our super because why not the bot's actually cracked on the dev board but uh we'll wait a few seconds here wait for the bell to respawn i'm just gonna place gadget here so the bell literally can't go through that that is that's kind of insane 10 seconds and they just can't go through it no matter what so that's going to buy a lot of time especially in hot zone if they don't have a wall break or like a thrower which they can shoot over that gadget it's going to be extremely broken right it's going to be really good in certain circumstances i think people are overrating it a little bit too much it's probably going to be better on all the new game modes that i've got trialed and tested that's why probably people are overhyping it a little bit but i think it's going to be strong right it's definitely better than his uh launch pad gadget and that's what people are probably excited about so i tried to press the <laughs> gadget button again but uh, it's actually a different place on the dev board. <laughs> this crow is just bouncing everywhere. He just can't get past the You can obviously shoot through it, right? He can also shoot through it, but he just can't uh, go past it. So I think it's going to be really toxic on some maps. People are going to learn how to uh, play with it really well and abuse the mechanics on it. It's got potential to be game-breaking. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty strong gadget. So that's going to be the first one right there. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys. So now hopping on to lose a gadget. You might have seen this in the last video, but I think it's going to be a really strong one. I don't think it's going to win be uh vote unfortunately because leon and gale are more than likely going to be really far ahead in their votes just because of how strong they seem but this lou uh, gadget and also pointed out by a lot of people in my comment section on my last video that it can also pair really well with his hyperthermia star power i think his hyperthermia star power has got potential to be really strong uh although i think the super cool one's just probably a bit too good so uh they actually jump through that don't really see any value so far uh, with this star power but against this uh, um, slow reload brawlers i think it can be really strong again i just think the super cool star power is just going to be way better in it general i mean it might give hyperthermia a little bit of life but i just think no matter what you want to be using the first star power with Luke, guys just it's, it's going to be so much stronger you're going to be able to freeze people a lot easier and that's going to confirm you the kill uh, in long terms uh well, when people are frozen you kind of more than likely just finish them off anyway so i'm going to use gadget again these guys are a little bit uh well <laughs> that bb has like no no reloads whatsoever that, that's kind of toxic so yeah i think it's obviously going to be better than his other gadget as well it's just unfortunate that uh the gale and leon gadget the leon gadget is in the vote as well there's just no way the leon gadget isn't winning uh but yeah it'll be nice to see this next week uh if it does come out then so again i'm gonna pop the gadget they have basically no reloads uh but it's kind of hard uh to capitalize on it especially if i was using your star power that jacket would have been frozen a lot sooner should be a gg though these bots are getting clapped inside of this game it was really strong inside of hot zone and siege so i think it's gonna make him dominate their metas even more but that's gonna be the loot gadget right there let's hop into the next one all right guys so hopping into the next gadget so this is the gadget that literally everyone is excited for so we have the leon gadget i'm trying to press it here so this gadget on the front of things it looks really strong i'm really excited to test this out inside of 3v3 modes like leon has sucked in 3v3 modes for such a long time and i feel like this could be finally the gadget that gets him a little bit closer to the meta so i thought uh backyard ball would be like a really good example i imagine maps that are just like really defensive and passive are going to be really good unfortunately our bot frank breaks open the walls so can't really show it to its full potential and jackie is is, is she gonna score here i don't really want to waste the gadget i might just wait to respawn okay, frank is just destroying them yeah that's gonna be a goal uh, so I can imagine on maps like Backyard Ball, you put the gadget behind a wall, right? And then probably like you, your mid and Leon himself uh, is going to be able to stay in this for a long time. So it's going to be hard to really see how strong it is up against bots because 
of the end of the day. They're literally bots, so they probably won't be able to see it anyway. But just look at the radius. I think it has potential to be really, really strong, especially uh, just like over here. So I could be all the way over here. I could be like all the way over here. I could be all the way over here. And it's literally anyone in the team is invisible. So the only problem, again, about this gadget is that yeah, of course, have to use Leon, and he's not exactly like the strongest, but I think Leon is secretly underrated. He's just been lacking a really good uh, second gadget. Like every single brawl inside of a game has a gadget, which basically makes him really, really strong. Leon just never had it. People seem to try and defend Leon's other gadget. It is pretty much trash, and uh, yeah, this one I feel like can have potential on these really defensive uh, maps, and it's definitely going to win the votes, so it's definitely going to be in the game on Thursday. So that's going to be Leon's gadget right there. Let's hop into the final. All right, guys, so hopping into the final one on the poll. It is Pam. I don't think I really need to waste any more time with this one. Everyone knows what it really does by now, so it just depletes the enemy ammo by 25% per bolt hit, and then it also gives it you by 50%, I believe, so... It's actually a really strong gadget. I do like the other Pam gadget though, uh, being able to drop back and just heal at any point in time. It gives you a, like, a little bit of extra life, which is a secretly underrated gadget. Pam hasn't been better for a bit of a while now, and I'm hoping this can at least increase some viability. I think it might be really hard to see the value with this gadget. That's the only problem uh, with it when I first used it, especially uh, when doing sneak peeks. I was like, well, this gadget is pretty much trash, and then I tried it out against brothers like Amber. Like Piper, the really slow Rillo Brawlers, it's going to be super, super strong on. So, yeah, this Pam Gadget, I feel like it's probably a little bit uh, underwhelming. Probably overestimated it the first time around. And, yeah, people just don't really seem to like Pam or really vote for Pam. But I'm hoping this can at least increase her viability in the meta. And I'm hoping that this gadget can be... All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this one. I feel like it's a bit obvious to which uh, gadgets are going to win. I don't think any influence, to be honest, is going to change uh, the way this poll goes. So as you can see, you can see what I voted for. I voted for Leon uh, just because it's Leon. I want a gadget that makes him uh, competitive in 3v3. He's literally not been in the meta whatsoever. Every single brawler, I think, inside of a game I've seen... Uh, actually pop up inside of competitive and Leon's the only brawler that I haven't seen so maybe this makes him really strong uh, Gail winning a uh, second yeah I just don't think Lou and Pam are going to be winning this time around but if Lou and Pam don't get it this time around they are definitely going to be released in the game next Thursday so yeah, let me know down in the comment section below which one you are voting for uh, I think it's actually in order of uh, the best ones at, by how the poll is actually going so I think Leon probably has potential to be the best one I think Gail and then Pam and then Lou. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section below what you're voting for. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.